Now, you often hear people saying, oh, I went to see this movie. I went and I watched XYZ movie. And this was the first movie where people came to us and were like, we heard your movie. And because you experience a film with two senses, your sight and your hearing. And you're, so you're not just watching a movie. You're not just seeing a movie like A Quiet Place. You're experiencing it with both senses. And for us, the sense of hearing is just as important as the sense of seeing. You know, it's half of the cinematic experience. So it was pretty exciting to be involved with a project that really embraced that in its DNA and made sound such a leading character. You know, both Eric and I have worked on many, many movies, and um, A Quiet Place has been a little bit unique in, um, in the sense that people have really paid attention to the sound in this movie in ways that they really haven't in a lot of um, other movies that we've worked on, and, and that's super gratifying. There's essentially four principal characters in this film, one of whom is deaf, uh, the daughter Regan, played by Millicent Simmons, who's deaf in real life, which for our director, John, was a non-negotiable thing. And so for us as sound designers, okay, we have a character where we can actually describe sonically what her experience is like and all of the spectrum of things from silence to her cochlear implant point of view to what her family members experience in their point of views to the hyper extreme and other end of the spectrum which is these creatures with hypersensitive hearing um, just baked into the story it was all kind of ready there uh, for us to engage and which was simultaneously thrilling and also a little bit scary because we knew how the potential if we could pull it off we spend so much of our lives just listening very intently you know when we're recording um, sounds out in the world you know in in nature we're just like intently listening for every little sound and then to be able to bring this experience to the to the film of really listening carefully and and have audiences um, have that experience of listening carefully that's sort of, um, that was kind of joyful for us because it's like, this is something that we've been, you know, enjoying for, for our whole careers. And now people are getting to sort of experience what we've been experiencing for many years in terms of just listen to the world around you.